What is up guys, my name is Moonlight and welcome back to World at War Zombies in 2024. We did knocked and now we're on to Zombie Brook. I don't know why Zombie is in front of Brook. That's so weird because we just know it as Brook. But for some reason in the World at War version, it's Zombie Brook. It's so weird. It's so weird. Electroshock therapy, chemically engineered beverages, hordes of undead Nazis, or uh, soldiers. <laughs> Find the power to unite and send them back to their graves. I think this was the map that introduced... <laughs> what the... Brought to you by Treyarch. Runs great on Intel Core i7. <laughs> well, I have, an, uh, I have an Intel Core i5. So will it run great on that? <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> yeah, this was the first map to introduce... Perks. Oh, you don't get points. Power's out. Ooh, wow, not only perks, but voice acting. Whoa! Interesting. Quick revive in World at War Zombies, though, does not give you a self-revive in solo. It's strictly for reviving your teammates faster in World at War. So we don't need to grab quick revive, but we got jug. We got jug! And then we got double tap up there. And then we got speed cola over there. This is my first time playing Verruckt on World at War. Believe it or not. Oh shit. And it might be my last if I go down. That's right. This is also one of the most terrifying zombie maps of all time. Other than Mob of the Dead. Rock man. So freaking crazy. You go from knocked to this. That's such an upgrade. Like not only not only do you get a larger map, you also if you're playing with friends you spawn in different rooms. There's perks. There's a power switch. There's voice acting. There's creepy... There's creepy sounds and babies crying. Once we get... Oh, man. Ooh, I hate that. Dude, Verruckton World at War is so much scarier. What the heck? Also... Are these different zombie sounds? These are not Nox zombie noises. Was this the first map to also like introduce new zombie noises? I fucking hate this map. I love it, but I hate it because it's actually really unsettling. It's so scary, dude. What the heck? Also, this might be the first map to introduce a song Easter egg. We'll have to see when we go up to the toilets, but I think it does have the song. Maybe that was only Black Ops 1? I don't know. I can't remember. We'll see. Oh! And voice acting for picking up drops! That's so nuts! So much! That's so crazy! They added so much in just one map. What? This is more than what we get in Modern Zombies! You know how sad that is? Oh my god, that's so pathetic. We get more we got more in 2008 than we do in 2024. This is the most <laughs> This is the saddest thing ever, but it's also one of the greatest things ever. These maps also have so much more character and personality than Modern Zombies does. Speed cola. Oh yeah, then you had like the riding on the walls and Oh, that's so crazy. The storytelling kind of somewhat began with this, with again, like, you're adding voice quotes to the characters. Every time you pick up a drop, it, it, um, it says a quote, and you're like, wait, who's saying that quote? Is that the person that's in control of the zombies? Or is that the one that's doing all this? Like, who's saying those quotes? It just makes, it just, it starts to make you wonder what's going, what's really going on here. And then, like, hearing the screams in the distance. Yeah, this was... This has the classic zombie noises. That's so weird. Also, traps are in this map. Dude, again, we got more content with DLC 1 and World at War in 2008 than we do with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. That's sad. Oh, there's no timer, though, with the drops. It's just the drop. There's no timer. That's a feature I like that came back to Zombies. I like seeing the timer on, like, the double points and stuff. And multiple bucks locations. You got Peter McCain's hand, which we didn't know at the time. But then the next map explain that. 
Yeah. Oh, I love it. God, the sound design even in World at War is just like, oh. Mwah. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Perfecto. The power room is sounds so cool. Oh, man. Again, this is my first time playing Barux on World at War. So, like, this is... Like, I've played this map before, but... Honestly, I prefer Barux. Um... Or that war version over BO3. I mean, BO3 is still great, but like, I don't know, maybe I have to play the BO3 version again because I don't play the world at war maps on Black Ops 3 that much. If I throw a grenade at the fountain, will it, um, like spurt out blood? Dude, I'm like a little kid in a candy shop. I'm having such a blast. This is such a new experience, even though it's a map I played so many times. What's- is there a Wonder Weapon? Is it just- I don't think the Wonder Wap is in this map. I think that was Shino Numa that introduced the Wonder Wap. Man, for someone who's never played World of War Zombies, you sure know a lot about it. It's like, yeah, because- You want to know why? It's because I watch a lot of zombie videos on YouTube. Talking about the history of zombies and, like, the story behind every map and stuff. So I think Shino Numa introduced the first, like, new Wonder Weapon, which that was the U. Wonder Wap DG2. Or the- or what I used to call it, the Wonder Waffle. <laughs> Okay, let's... Ooh, Bouncing Betty's! Ooh, Bouncing Betty's! Were Bouncing Betty's in Noct? I don't think so. I love Call of Duty Zombies so much. You guys have no idea how much I love this mode. Nope. No zombies have come from down there yet. I say that now, and then I'm gonna look and... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? Was that a super spreader? Oh my god! That was terrifying! Don't ever throw something like that at me again. That was a fast zombie! That actually sent a- That sent a chill down my spine. I forgot that World at War has super spinners. I think it's only in Baruch. I can't remember, but that was so scary! Holy crap! He th no, 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 that's so scary! That's so scary! That running animation is so unique. That's terrifying. Look at that! See, that's a classic running zombie right there. That, yeah, that's classic. That is not! That is so scary and fast. Yeah, that, nah, man. Nah, man. Is this just a camping spot? There's no zombies coming from down there. Am I breaking the spawns? Did I find a secret spawn breaking point? I still need perks, by the way. My save one zombie to go get jug. Oh no 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 ah, ah, no no! <laughs> I was just about to go get jug, you son of a bitch! Okay, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it another shot. Fucking super sprinters! Holy shit! That was scary. Also, technically, the story tech the story technic technically the story did technically. The story did start with Varuk because this team was sent to Varuk to go rescue Peter McCain who ended up not being here and then they ended up falling into a trap because this place ended up being overrun by zombies and I think Tank Dempsey is part of this crew and this is where Tank this is where Tank Dempsey gets captured and then gets experimented on by Richtofen, right? I might have the lore messed up but I think that's right. Dude, honestly, if you've never watched a video on the lore of Call of Duty Zombies, like, just from World at War to Black Ops 4. After that, it's not really interesting. Holy shit! Like, after Black Ops 4, it's not really interesting. But even by Black Ops 3, it gets a bit confusing because, like, multiverse and time- or not time- time travel, because that's introduced in World at War and Black Ops 1. But, like, with the multiverse stuff, it gets a little confusing. And then you have, like, Primus and Ultimus, but, like, dude, I highly recommend- it's a long video, it's a long story. I'll probably link it down below, but like watch the lore video on this story, man, because it's so good. COD Zombie storyline is the best. And then we have what they're trying to do now with the Dark Aether storyline, and it's just not hitting the same. It's just not that interesting. Because there's no mystery to it, man. There's no mystery to it at all. Oh God, that like screws up your aim. Here, you want a grenade? Here you go. 
Boom, bada bim, bada bim, bada. Boom. I love that, man. I love that laugh, it's so iconic. I wonder where they got that from. Oh, then you have the creepy music, like circus music in the background now. I didn't notice that when we turned on the power last time. That's It's such a creepy map, man. They killed it with the atmosphere. They absolutely killed it. Oh no, we're getting Jug. We're getting Jug. I'm not taking- <gasps> No! God, the two hit down is so scary in old zombie games. It's so fucking scary. You get hit once and your heart just sinks. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! No, you're not in there. Double tap! But this isn't the good double tap! I can't remember what the original effects of double tap are. In the old game. In the old game, in World at War. What the fuck? Wow, I'm alive! Wait, you have a poster saying, wow, I'm alive? I get that it's called Quick Revive, but it's like... You make a poster like that, you would expect the effects of Quick Revive to be like how they are now, but they're not in World at War. Oh, we can do it. Right? No, 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 come on. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It never gets old, man. Even with the amount of hours I put into zombies, it, the sounds, the gameplay, the easter eggs, the story, it never gets old. It never gets old, and I love that. There's just so much replayability. What was that zombie doing? There's just so much replayability in zombies. Even in World at War. Okay, I am kind of fucking myself right now. Just realized. Loki. A thousand points? Okay. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! MP40, give me. Those freaking super sprinters! They're so scary! Stay away from me! God, if this map already wasn't scary enough, let's just throw in a zombie that's just like. Just right at you. It's so scary. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Zombies are so scary. Okay. Easter egg's on, right? You gotta do it three times. Little bite of a dead man. Give it to me. Yeah! Right? Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go, man. Oh, man, such a good soundtrack. Oh, man. All of this content added into one map, DLC 1. That's just so crazy to me. That's just crazy to me. And modern zombies can't even bring us simple round base. Like, we asked for something so simple and they can't even give it to us. That's what's so sad about modern zombies. Treyarch just doesn't do a good job at listening anymore. It's sad. Like, yeah, we're getting Gobblegums back! It's like, yeah, but it's still gonna be the same Cold War mechanics that nobody really liked. And it's gonna be the same boring storytelling that we've been getting for the since Cold War. I- Ah! No! Oh my god! That was a super spinner. 100%. How else did he catch up so fast? Give me double tap. Such a good song, man. Copyright me. I don't care. What? Zombies are spawning on the other side of the door that I haven't bought yet. I truly believe there's no window down there in this, in this version of the map. I want to see how fast it is. That's pretty fast. Zombie. Hello? Hello? Is there a window down here? There is! And they they never go for it. That's so weird. That's just so goddamn weird. No, please stop. Please leave me alone. Oh my god, two of them in a row? You're kidding. Oh god. I keep forgetting I have Jug. 
hear that? The zombie said Sam. Sam! Again, this is when the story started picking up. It's like, wait, what? Sam? What's that? Like, why are you very obviously saying a name? You know what I mean? It's oh, so good. So good. Oh my god. Oh. Those fucking super spinners. If you do not deal with them right away, you are so screwed. Oh, the PPSH! Let's fucking go, dude! Oh, let's fucking go. Oh! Well, that war PPSH hits so different than Black Ops 3. Hands down. I don't like the PPSH in Black Ops 3. Whoa! Sell down. Go to, like, round 15. Oh! Teddy bear! <laughs> Wow, man. As early as World at War. I mean, it makes sense, but it's like, again, with it being the... Mike, chill. With it being the second map in this game, like, it's crazy how much they added. Alright, let's... Let's explore a little, shall we? Hey, the mystery box! Oh! THOSE SUPER SPRINTERS, AH! <laughs> God damn, that was fun. Rucked is such a good map, man. It's such a fun survival map. Just throw in Pack-a-Punch and it would be, oh, it'd be perfect. Again, that's why I like the BO3 versions of these maps is because they, you have gobble gums, which I know is like, oh, it just ruins the map. It's like, in my opinion, it, it enhances the map. It's just like, it's nice having that ability to get pack a punch weapons from the box using gobble gums or like get pack a punch weapons from wall buys because of gobble gums and and being able to survive to higher rounds. It just adds more replayability in the BO3 version. It's like, yes, these these have replayability, but like it's like, okay, like what's the best map out of all of these? Doris. Why? Because you have all the perks, you have a cool little side Easter egg to do. Or like a quote unquote, I guess at the time, a main quest Easter egg. Um, you have Pack-a-Punch, you have the Catwalk, it's like, you have a lot of lore, like, Duris is like the complete zombies experience in World at War. So it's like, whenever you hop on World at War to play zombies, you're guaranteed gonna play Duris. Guaranteed you're gonna hop right into Duris. Not Shinonuma, well, maybe Shinonuma. And maybe Baruch, but not Noct. Like, nobody plays fucking Noct, unless you're playing BO3 or BO1. But even BO1, you don't have Pack-a-Punch, BO3 you do, so... I don't know, but that was Zombie Verrucked or Verrucked. Next episode, next video, we are going into Shinonuma, which is my least favorite original zombie map. I do not care for Shinonuma that much, if I'm being completely honest. Um, even though this was the map that gave us the original crew, Richtofen, Takio, Densi, and Nikolai. Um, but I don't know, This is I just don't care for Shinonuma all that much. Like, I just like Baruch because of its creepy atmosphere and unsettling vibe and just, like, I just love Baruch. I also just, I just love it. And then Noct, it's a classic. It's what started it all. Um, and then Doris is the full package. And Shinonuma, I just don't care for it. It's still creepy. It's still a very unsettling map. They're, like, I guess we'll see when we get into it because I don't have much experience with Shinonuma. But maybe this will, maybe it'll change my mind when we get into it. But... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that little bell so you guys get notifications when I stream and upload to the channel. If you guys want to check out more Call of Duty Zombies content, there is so, so much on my channel. So just go through the playlist tab until you find a Call of Duty playlist. And if, unless it's like Ghost or Modern Warfare 1 or 2, it's not going to have zombies. But if it's anything but those, like the Modern Warfare series, it'll have zombies. So if you want to see more, scroll through till you find more zombies content. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Um, sorry, Mike. And yeah, that'll be it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.